Hi friends, my quilter friend recently dropped off a bunch of her scraps from quilting. So we have a lot of fabric here. So we're going to do something crazy. Well, not too crazy. I was going through my sewing notions and I came across this ruler and there we go. It's called the Crazy Quilt Ruler. And you can make one, two, yeah, one, two, three, four sizes to start your crazy quilt. So this is going to be the starting point for our crazy project today. We're going to make one quilt block with this and using some of the fabric pieces that my friend gave me. And these are some wild, wild, wild fabric pieces, but it'll be fun. So for that part, you'll just need some fabric scraps, a backing piece. I'm going to make my piece eight and a half by eight and a half. So that's for that. We are going to use our crazy quilt block for this project, which I, for some reason it showed up on my Facebook feed and it's called a turtle mop. So the turtle has a shell. So we'll use the crazy quilt block for the shell. The bottom is going to be a piece of a towel, just an old towel. So I already cut that. I will leave a link for this PDF in the description box below. I did not come up with this and probably everyone knows about it but me. But you can make these tags that says the turtle. Place the turtle on the kitchen floor. Please don't kick him out the door. He is there to help you with the task of mopping up that spill. So place your foot upon his back and push him around and around. When the spill is there no more, just leave him lying on the floor. So how cute is that? So you could make these and sell them and include the tag. So for the turtle mop part, what you're going to need is you could simply use an eight and a half square of fabric for the turtle shell or the, the body, that would be perfectly fine. I just thought I would add my twist to it and we will create a crazy quilt block for the top. The starting point will be jean material, so that will be our first block. And then we'll add those fabrics all around. And then you'll need um, like I said, the hand towel, gently used, a 4 by 14 strip of fabric for the legs, head, and tail. And for those pieces, I have some scrap jean material. You'll need some polyfill, and then two beads for the eyes. And I just found these buttons in my stash. I think they use them for dolls, but they're teeny tiny, but you could use vintage buttons, but I found these and I thought I would use them up because it's the year of the D-stash, right? We need to get rid of some things. So, and then it does include the pattern, as you can see here. And all I did is I took some cardstock and I just cut out my pattern pieces. So we'll put that to the side and we will cut out our crazy quilt piece to start with, the one that we're going to start. Crazy quilt pieces have one, two, three, four, five sides. And I have seen where people do blocks and all that, but we're just going to try to use up what we have. So we're just going to cut that out. And there is our starting point for the crazy quilt. So you don't even need this anymore. So we can put that away. And then we have some more scrap pieces. 
to put in our scrap pile. So all we're going to do, we've got our jean piece, and this is kind of the top, but it's this project has no rules, which is perfect for me because you can't make any mistakes. I'm sure I can, <laughs> but it is a no rule project and that's what we like. So we'll just go ahead and kind of center this so we can get our center. Center's about right there. Not real. There we go. How's that? And then the instructions say there are instructions with that quilting ruler. And the instructions say that you should go either counterclockwise adding fabric pieces or counterclockwise. And then you'll just sew your pieces on um, one quarter inch seam allowance. So we've got all these pieces. So we'll just pick one to start with. And we're going to start right here, I think. And you'll just lay that on there. And then I'm just going to cut right above here this piece. And it doesn't have to be perfect. And I will go to the sewing machine and then do a quarter inch seam allowance. I did forget to mention that we are going to sew these pieces directly to our backing. So I'll take all these pieces to the sewing machine and sew. Snip off our strings. We'll open this up. And press. And it's already looking pretty good. Our turtle is going to be styling. Now, as we go along, there will be instances where we'll cut. And this is the first time I've done this, so I'm not sure if I'm supposed to cut that right away. I'm not sure. So I'll just cut this much, just in case. And then we've got more scraps. All right, so then the instructions say we should be going for this one and we'll line it up here and then it'll come like this I believe I think what I'll do is I'll overlap it because they say there's no rules so I'm just going to cut right here. And then we will sew a quarter inch seam allowance right here. All right, so we've got that one on there. Cut off some strings here. It's looking pretty good. All right, and then we need to come to this side. So I think I will cut that one. Here. And then back to the sewing machine. Okay. 
So then here, I think I need to trim a little bit. I think I'll wait for trimming just in case. And if there's any crazy quilters in the audience, feel free to add suggestions. And if you think we should continue a series, make some different projects, doing the crazy quilt blocks, just let me know because this seems like a lot of fun. All right, we've got another piece here for here. And it looks like we could cut this one there and we'll lay it right there, I think. And you can always flip it up to see where it's going to land. It's going to land just like that. So we'll go ahead and sew that. Let's flip that. And then we have one more side here. Here's some really funky looking fabric. So I think we'll do that. And then that will go, oops. Here, and then this one would flip up like that, and we'll sew that. Now, from what I understand, we finished this one, so now we're back to this line. So, we need to add something there, maybe, and it has to be like that. So yes, I can cut off some of this. But it has to be in line with that. So I see. So we're going to cut, we're going to sew so it comes down like that. Maybe right there. I don't think there's any right or wrong, so we're just going to go with it. That's what we're going to do. Okay. It is going to end up quite bulky, so I need to cut off some of these fabric pieces. And these will just go back in the pile. And then probably some of that bulk, because I think I'm a little more than quarter inch. But we're going to just go with it. Okay, so then we did this line, so now we have to do something with this line. So, this line is about like this.
and it's just a lot of oh, I see here okay so we're gonna go from here to here I think and then this gets pressed back and then I just need to cut off this fabric I think I'm getting the hang of it okay so we did this one so now we have to finish up with this one the whole goal is to get a circle and we do ha already have a circle so we could stop here for this quilt block because this is the size of the shell so I am going to cut this out and then in the seams we're going to do some decorative stitches we are really going to make him razzle dazzle. I might put one more here just to have a double line. Let's do that. Oh, I really like this butterfly. So let's try that. Well, we are going to break our own rules with staying in line. And I think I'm just going to go like this because I may have, because I chopped that off. Yeah, we'll just go like this. So we're going to try that. Now that adds a little pizzazz. <laughs> I really like it. And then I just need to cut off this. Yeah, it looks like I sewed that down. That's okay though. All right, so we have more scraps. I am going to give this a press with the iron. And we're going to cut this out. Well, I think what I'll do first is some of my decorative stitching. So I'll just come in here and we will let our turtle have some really cool thread how about this gold variegated thread I think that would be really cool with the jeans and I'm just looking to see yep I just need to get mainly on this inside so I'll come back and show you how we did the decorative stitching on our turtle. I am at my sewing machine here and I put my N letter N presser foot in my brother's sewing machine. It's a brother SQ9185 and I am just going to go through and pick out some different decorative stitches for each of these seams and how pretty will that be? I'm just using this seam as a guide and I'm just keeping it in the center of the presser foot. I'm done with all the decorative stitches. Hopefully I'll get some light in here so you can see. It's not perfect but I love it. And like I said, we're going to have to put our circle here and figure out what we want to keep. We know that this is the top. But honestly, whatever fabric you wanted to keep. I'm just going to draw a circle with my heat erasing pen. Cut this out. 
and the turtle mop has its shell. And the instructions say you can just use a piece of fabric if you'd like. There's no reason to get elaborate, right, for our turtle that's going on the floor. But I thought it would be fun, and I had never done crazy quilting before, and I think I really like it. And I, I may even make more turtles to sell in my space. Because each one would be different. There we go. And I do have some scraps on here that I can salvage. So that's good. We need a circle out of this. And I'll try to eyeball and use my rotary cutter for this. Alright, this is going to be his belly. And I think I'll put this little decorative piece on the back where his tail is going to be. So we've got that. The rest of it is looks like it's pretty easy. It says that we need to take our strip. This is 4 by 14. Fold in half lengthways as such. And I think I'll go ahead and give that a press. Oh, and it does say right sides together. Okay, and then we need, it does tell you on here, the instructions state that we're going to take our 4 by 14 strip and fold it in half lengthwise, right sides together, place the legs, head, and tail on the raw edge, trace around each, do not cut. So... This one is, oh, these are the legs, and then the head is the biggest one. And I'm imagining they want me to go like this. No. Like this. So the raw edge is going to be the bigger edge. So we're going to draw. That's for the head. The instructions say to trace out onto your fabric all the fabric pieces and you will do it so that you have the you lay it on the raw edge. The idea is that you're going to sew on here and cut it out. But for the head, you have to cut that out first because we need to add the two eyes and I'm going to hand sew the two eyes on. I've got his cute little eyeballs on and he'll look like this. What I need to do now is turn him back like this and just sew on the seams. Turn him inside back, turn him inside out again and then stuff him. Alright, so the head I got stuffed, but it says not to stuff too much because you do have to put this on the inside and then sew around before you turn it inside out. So the head is done. We've got the two eyeballs on there. So now all we have to do is our remaining pieces take to the sewing machine and sew around and then cut them out, we'll stuff them, and we'll get this project finished up. So now all we have to do, since we've sewn all the way around, is just trim around. Next in the instructions, it says to lay a towel circle right side down on the body with the legs, head, and tail. So we need these like this. My towel, it doesn't look like, yep, that's the right side. And then 
what we need to do is you see on the pattern it tells you where to put everything so like this is the tail remember don't stuff these too tight we're going to put the tail hopefully you can see that we're just tucking all the parts right there because we're going to come around and sew all the way around and then I think what I will do for that I think I'm going to use Wonder Clips I hope that'll work I hope that'll hold that in place it's so thick, I'm not sure that pins would work. All right, we know the tail goes there. Next, the head, of course, is coming up here. And then I'm going back around and adding that second clip. Just to hold everything in place. All right, we've got legs here, arms here, we got body. And I am leaving my head off because I'm going to add that when I do the top stitch around because I want to make sure that that's in the right place. So my opening is actually going to be at the top. I'm going to go to the sewing machine and get this sewed. Back from the sewing machine. And I was kind of concerned that it was going to be hard to sew, but it was just fine. And then we have our opening here. Let's see if we can get everything through. Look how cute he is. Very, very cute. Okay, and then we'll kind of fold this under here so we can put his head in there. Maybe not. Might be a clip. I will just make sure that this is folded over correctly. That we got the head tucked in there. All right, we're going to try a pin again. And then we'll flip them over and we'll try a pin on the other side. I'm going to do a top stitch all the way around. And he will be complete. Well, here he is. Here is our darling turtle mop. He is styling, isn't he? And here is the towel, ready to clean up our messes. Looks like I still have some strings here. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. If you think that you'll make one. And remember, I'll leave a link to that pattern in the description box below. But so darling. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you for hanging out with me today. And until the next video, God bless.
If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button and smash that notification bell so that you never miss a video. And if you're returning, thank you so much. And if you have found value in this video, please like and comment.